news now. Look with who the Russian worked with at the FBI. You will be surprised. As Democrats and a few Republicans continue to screech about the meeting between Don Jr. and a Russian lawyer, as if it matters at all, interesting things are coming to light, and it's looking more and more like a deep state setup. It turns out that the Russian translator who took part in the Trump Tower meeting with Donald Jr. worked at the FBI while Mueller was director of the Bureau. Mueller is now the United States Special Counsel who is leading the witch hunt into President Trump and his administration desperate to push the Russian collusion narrative. Sim simply put, this was a setup from the beginning, all designed and planned in order to attempt to discredit and undermine our P America first president, unable to harm President Trump with their insane conspiracy theories. Now the deep state and other evil opposition, uh, po opposition forces are going after his family. These people are truly sick. They're so obsessed with cramming this Russia-themed garbage down our throats, they're unable to realize that the majority of the country simply does not care, nor do they believe a word of this crap. From True Pundit, the Russian translator at the Tum uh, Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr., worked with the State Department and the FBI during Robert Mueller's tenure as director of the Bureau, according to documents obtained by True Pundit. Mueller, the former FBI director, is currently the United States Special Counsel investigating President Donald Trump's administration and White House aides for alleged connections to supposed Russian factions. While big media has tried to portray Trump's eldest son, Donald Jr., as having orchestrated a clandestine meeting with the Russians to attempt to find dirt on Hillary, few can seem to explain how a person linked to the FBI and Mueller, who was calling the shots for the Bureau at the time, ended up at the very same Trump Tower sit-down. Mueller's office did not return calls for comment. The translator, Anatoly Samochornov, who also worked for the U.S. State Department until recently, could not be reached for comment either. You wonder why? Former FBI officials with knowledge of the meeting and possible other FBI work performed by Samochornov refused to go on the record. Samichornov has worked as an intelligent, intelligence attaché and translator for the United States in varying capacities for years. In 2010, while Mueller was FBI director, Samichornov worked with the head of the New York FBI field office, FBI acting special agent in charge, Lauren Anderson. Lauren Anderson worked with Samichornov in his role as program officer for the State Department's International Visitor and Leadership Program. Anderson, who is now retired from the FBI, could not be reached for comment, although she has been quoted in the New York Times applauding ex-FBI boss James Comey's alleged diligent note-taking for his alleged memos compiled against President Trump. Anderson worked high-profile espionage cases in Europe, Russia, France, and Western Africa for the Bureau and ran the Global Terrorism Program of the FBI's New York Joint Terrorism Task Force, JTTF, before her recent retirement, FBI sources said. A web-paged archive by the FBI New York field office shows Samacharnov and Anderson. We have saved the original page in case it is scrubbed. While the archive page does identify Samacharnov, uh, whatever his name is, searching the Russian-born translator's name, 
via the search bar on the FBI site does not retrieve any results. So they scrapped that, but thank God they got the web page that they have because again, here you go, the Russian born translator's name via the search bar on the FBI site does not retrie retrieve any results. You know they scrapped that. Let us know what you think in the comments below, but this stinks to the high heavens. That's all I have to say. And again, thank you so much for watching.